Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, let's switch over to game. Hey. How's everyone doing today? Uh, got a couple of little announcements. And then, uh, something new to show you guys before we jump into the game. Yeah. I did say, you know, I would be revealing something new on stream after finishing Vampire. And, uh, we, you know, we finished yesterday, so. Just, uh, give it a couple minutes while I wait. Um, how's the audio sounding so far? Uh, every time there's like, you know, I start a new game, I have to adjust. I'm mainly worried about like the music in this game. The music can uh, be pretty loud at times. Just gonna adjust myself so I'm you know, sitting comfortably. Everything sounding good? I'm gonna assume yes. <laughs> okay, so a few things for start. One, uh, sounds right? Okay, okay, good. Uh, what's it? Um, uh, one, so you guys voted, and you know that poll, uh, you tied the games you wanted to see Vampire and Subnautica. So we finished Vampire, and we're playing this. Uh, <laughs> what else? Um, I've done like a full playthrough of Subnautica in my own time before, uh, and I was trying to look up like mods, like make it more interesting. Kind of just like general, like general uh, game improvement mod things, like to make crafting go faster and stuff like that. And also like some other ones where like uh, there are some mods people are working on to add like the cut content monsters back to the game. Um, the problem is, that I discovered while looking through Nexus, is that a lot of the mods do not work with the recent updated version of Subnautica. So I'd have to roll back to like, a later version <laughs> if I wanted to use mods. So yeah, unfortunately no mods. Uh, I do have like a shader installed to make the game look nicer. Like, to me anyway. <laughs> Changes some of the coloring and stuff like that for things. But yeah, outside of that, uh, the new thing that I wanted to introduce. Uh, you guys ready for it? waiting for like the prompts to show up in chat. Uh, yeah? Yeah? Alright. Yeah! <laughs> hey! So... Yeah, I made a uh, little, little VTuber uh, <laughs> avatar. Uh, something I've been working on for like I want to say the past couple of days, but at the same time, like, the total amount of time I've spent, like, uh, crafting this model and, like, getting things to work is probably less than 24 hours. So, <laughs> uh, some things might still be, like, a little janky. Um, I did calibration for, like, the emotes and stuff for almost two hours today, and, like, well, it works fine for like most of the like general movement stuff. Uh, there's some like emotions that it has trouble like picking up and registering properly. Yeah, I'm a VTuber now. <laughs> yeah, like I always wanted uh, to 
kind of go down this path, more or less. Because it's like, I know it's nice uh, to have like a, a person to look at during like all these like streams, especially when they're long. It's like, I never wanted to like have my actual face on stream. So this is like the best option for me, <laughs> for what I want to do anyway. Um, but yeah, so calibration. Did it for like roughly two hours, but it still has problem certain emotions, like a basically like the sad one. So like trying to look sad, like like right now it works, but like it only works if I like sit still. Like if I try to move while looking sad, it like goes back to uh, the like neutral expression. As you can see, so that's a little, that's the only one that seems to be really having problems. Like the angry one uh, seems to work regardless of how I move. It's the same with like surprise. So yeah, but you know, new, new thing, new model, new to all of this really. So uh, probably going to be like some adjustment over the next couple of days. Uh, with the model and everything. Like, there's also a problem where, like, if I move my head too fast, sometimes, like, my hair clips through the face. <laughs> yeah, so, I might have to work on that, too. How does it feel to be an anime? You know what? It feels pretty good. I look... I look super cute, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. Figured, you know, we finished Vampire, and, like, normally I would, like, start a new game. Not on like a Friday, right? It started like the next week. But I figured, you know, am I introducing this? Why not do it on Fridays? Like, if there's any tweaking I have to do, I can do it uh, over the weekend, basically. I look great. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I mean, hopefully it all works out. So, uh, we'll see. Probably be like after stream rewatching, uh, the VOD and stuff a little bit to see if there's any places where like the the emote the emotes like the facial expressions are like freaking the fuck out and <laughs> not working properly and should have fixed them later. But yeah, enough about that. Let's just you know uh, jump right into Subnautica. Uh, let me check the options real quick, graphics and everything. Depth of field off. And motion blur. I hate that stuff. Instead of that, everything should be good. Uh, okay. Then, of course, we will do normal uh, survival mode. <laughs> that definitely can re retitle this. Philosophia, yeah. <laughs> Surprised, yeah. No, I, I held that out as long as possible before uh, trying not to mention this. <laughs> I want to make sure everything at least worked like somewhat nice before uh, bringing it out. Well then. You 
you have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This P is I, I mean, I guess, yeah. <laughs> in emergency mode with one directive to keep you Only mild alive head trauma. on an yeah. alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Oh, thanks. Uh, okay. Storage cleaner. Well, we got some water. Take that. It's food. The fire stinger sure away, probably, because uh, nothing's on fire anymore. Right, need a repair tool and stuff. Fix that. So, the thing about the 3D model is, uh, and I did, I like, looked all this stuff up, and it was actually information that I got through Google about, from Steam Labs. Um, so what I used for my model is, there's a program called v -Roid Studio. And basically, it's like user-friendly uh, how to make like 3D models stuff. Like uh, they have a bunch of like presets you can choose from, like head shapes or whatever. And then basically a bunch of sliders you can use to like alter the face shape and like the eyes, etc. So like, and it's free, by the way. Uh, <laughs> that's like the only way I was able to, you know, make this basically. It was like very user-friendly and like free, <laughs> more or less. Um, and then they also have, like, uh, a store where, like, other users and, like, creators, uh, make assets, so. Aurora suffered orbital pile failure. Oh, wow. Cause unknown. Zero human Crazy. life signs detected. Um, so, like, the, the hair I have and then, like, the little sweater I'm wearing, uh, came from, like, the store. Like, other people made them. So I have the, I have a little asset, uh, panel in, like, the about section in, in my Twitch that, uh, says where I got those from. So while the people said, like, you don't need to credit me, I felt like, well, your hair and, like, your sweater are, like, the major things on my model, so I will. I'm gonna credit you. <laughs> Do you know where this is cool? Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely gonna take some, like, getting used to. Uh, definitely, like, uh, especially, like, showing off, like, the emotions and stuff. Like, I, um, the calibration, how do you, like, you know, move around, like, making a face or whatever, but it's, like, the real question is, will it pick up, like, when I'm, like, actually angry versus, like, you know, trying to imagine what I look like when I'm angry, right? <laughs> but we'll see. But yeah, I also felt, you know, Subnautica's a pretty chill game. Which, uh, makes it easy to, like, introduce something that I'm essentially beta testing, <laughs> more or less. No, get back here. Oxygen. <laughs> Some of them are so fast. So hard to catch. There we go. Right, so I gotta remember, like, how to play this game. <laughs> um, I think the major thing is, like, right now, you know, collecting materials to craft Copper tools. is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. Oh. Thanks, PDA. <laughs> Pretty chill, except for when you're gonna get attacked by kaiju. Yeah, true. That only happens like, later though. <laughs> we don't have to worry right now.
Well, you know, my pod did drop me near some, uh, stalkers. Then they go, like, to try to bite from time to time. I'm trying to find, like, more, uh, outcrops that are easy to see. It's going on right now. Like way off in the distance. <sighs> That's my game that immediately throws an unbeatable boss at you, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mega Man X, ah. I'll go back to the life pod and see what I can craft so far. Silicone rubber. Okay. Eat something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the first stage, you fight Vile and Pride Armor. It's a set event, and there's no way to beat him. Uh, yeah. Games like that that start like that can be uh, kind of frustrating. Oh no, wait! Oops, I dropped it instead of eating it. Uh, wait, hold on. I don't want that back. Thank you. So, if I remember, silicone rubber, uh, you make that from. Oxygen. Uh. Leaves. the like seeds or whatever but I don't see any of the glowing seeds This planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. Right, yeah. Oxygen. <laughs> My 
Oh, that's the one. Up the brain. It's just like a tiny bit. Because things are like pretty dark. Uh, it should be brighter for you, but uh, for me it was a little too dark. Essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. Right, right, yeah. Uh, alright, and then the tools, make a knife. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Oh, okay. Tab is to exit out, not uh, <laughs> escape. Uh, let's see. Let's make food. The fabricator cooks small organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. Then... It is common for those accustomed to synthetic foods to be repulsed by eating an animal carcass. Remember that humans survived this way for millennia. You can too. Uh. Okay. <laughs> uh, make an oxygen tank foam here, and then also flippers so I move faster. New blueprint. Aqua. The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. Right, yeah. Okay, so we got the knife, and then we need to work towards getting a repair tool and the scanner. And then eventually the habitat builder uh, will be important. Uh, so whether or not I do a full playthrough of this game will depend on how crazy I get with like the habitat building. Because <laughs> uh, usually when I play this game, you know, on my own time, I build like really large, uh, elaborate bases. <laughs> Just because I want to like have everything in like one spot. Um, but yeah. That takes, like, a really long-ass time. <laughs> a lot of, like, collecting materials. So if they, like, want to see the end of this game, I need to, like, try to hold off from doing that. space building, yeah. Well, they give you, like, you know, the option to, uh, like, build aquariums, more or less, and, uh, so when I'd build a base, I'd build, like, an aquarium for, like, each biome, basically. So I'd be like, oh, the, like, red grass area, where, like, the sand sharks and stuff are at. Like, make an aquarium for that, and, like, put the eggs from the creatures from that in there and like the plants and it's like oh but like health area but like stalkers in there Did so on and so forth local radiation levels trend is consistent with damage to the aurora's drive core right, uh, during planet four. so basically had like every type of like creature that you could collect and like every plant you could grow in my base <laughs> Uh, so yeah, Crushed Up is a thing in this, uh, game, so 
You'll notice the times, like, the, like, the farther down I go, the quicker my oxygen will go away. It, uh, it also will affect, like, the vehicles you can make, um, which there are two. There's, like, a small, like, one-person sub kind of thing, and then, like, a, a larger one where you could fit, like, a group of people in. And, uh, in order to go deeper, you need to, you know, craft, uh, modules and stuff that make them able to sustain, uh, the depths they're going to. And it's like if you go too far down, like past like the limits the vehicle can go, they like start breaking, you know, which is bad. Obviously very bad. <laughs> Otherwise your ship implodes, yeah. And then obviously, you know, if you're that far down that like... Your, your sub can't handle it and it breaks. There's like no way you're swimming up to the surface, so you're just uh you're just kinda dead in this game <laughs> at that point. I already forgot uh what do I need to make uh with scan? Scanner is like the most useful tool in this game. You scan like fab, uh, pieces of like equipment and stuff you find out in the world, and then uh, you can craft them later. <laughs> Which oh, I'm already there. I just need to make a better for it. Well done. <laughs> I've hidden the recipe for nothing. <laughs> The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to accord alien biological data. Oh yeah, I mean the game doesn't like outright kill you, because you know that'd probably be like horrific. <laughs> and this is kind of more like, well they have like large monsters and it can be kind of like scary, it's uh, I don't know, it's just say like PG, maybe light PG-13. In nature. Um, so it's like, they're not gonna have you die from like crushed pressure, but obviously, you know, you're not gonna make it back to the surface, so run out of oxygen. <laughs> okay, then we wanna make a repair tool. And then habitat fabricator. Um, that needs computer chip and wiring kit, right? And then a battery. Which I just need to get more acid mushrooms for batteries. Um, okay. Floating chest instead, like outside for extra storage for now. That should be good. Okay. And any extra little thingies I have, I'll put in here so I have room to gather more stuff. Um, uh, what else? There we go. Let me go. Yeah. So we have the scanner now, so now we can, uh, so you can scan, uh, the creatures to learn more about them, and then you can also scan, uh, parts of, uh, equipment you find. Fragments or whatever. 
to get new blueprints. <laughs> well, oxygen. Too bad. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, you dropped uh, one of the seat. Look out for uh, yeah. <laughs> Apes Ultra and stuff like that. It actually comes from, yeah, you guys. Little exploding fish. Yeah. <laughs> so we got fresh butter. I just need to get more cover somewhere. Oh, it's gold. That's right. Yeah. Might be a while until I get some of that. I should have the stuff to make a. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Repair tool. Nice. Oh, no. 
unpin that. There we go. Lightpoint secondary systems online. Running full environment diagnostic and outputting results to databank. Okay, fix the radio. This is Aurora. Distress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine, 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 nine hours. Uh, Enter for emergency transmissions from other life pods. <laughs> right, so we're probably not getting rescued anytime soon. Got it. Make that, and then what else? Oh, lubricant for the sea light, right? I got that. your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Right, yeah. So don't want to wander too far when you see some blood. Uh, what else can I make right now? Can make some glass. And then... Still just copper wire. So if I make a battery, uh I can make a flashlight. Probably nice at uh nighttime. Oh yeah. Well, Deep water is scary. <laughs> like, don't know what's down there. Uh, take that. I need a hmm, that room. So I'll store stuff in that uh, other chest I made. Also need to get some more uh, stuff for water. You know, that's just how it be sometimes. <laughs> okay, so I remember um where are they at? There's certain fish that uh these ones up here, these guys. They pretty much become Alien water, life forms. more or less. They have unexpected applications. Instead of food. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. It's probably a scan one. There we go. Oxygen.
they're just not as well. How much my avatar like wicks the fuck out when I uh drink anything. <laughs> So you should be good on water for now. Seek fluid intake. So the game wants me to use water right anyway. Stabilizing. Okay, well never mind. I'm not good at water, but I had to drink like three bottles of it. Jeez. Alright. Got a radio message. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave oh, wow. system, and this grim-looking snake thing is trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Oh, they're at like 100 meters. Yeah, uh... That's gonna have to wait until I can, uh... Build like the little submarine or whatever. <laughs> Which I, you know, you gotta go scan parts to get the info on to craft it. Which, you know, it is dark at night. <laughs> I should probably make a flashlight. So I need copper ore. For batteries. And then, what is it? Just some glass. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I think the sea moth also, actually. Yeah, it's a light. So that helps out too. So I need to find at some point uh, gold and uh, silver. I also have to be mindful of like what direction I'm going uh, when exploring because where's the aurora? Too far in front of and behind the aurora. Um, are the areas where like the leviathans like to hang out. <laughs> the reaper ones that like will eat you. So now we gotta be careful about like where I'm heading, more or less. <laughs> for more titanium. Seconds. So, yeah, with the sea glide, we're now fast enough that we don't have to worry about the Crash fish or whatever they're called, uh, blowing up and uh, dealing damage to us, basically. Uh, let's see. So we can like safely get the stuff they have. Which where was his little home? Did I miss it already? Was it not in here? Hmm. Okay, well, never mind. 
no uh, crush powder, I guess. Oh, we got a new uh, radio message to listen to, I guess. Gonna look for like any uh, other fragments. Oh, here we go. You know, the sand shark will like let me scale those. Thirty seconds. Caution. Continued degradation of the auroras. Drive cool. May result in a quantum detonation. Oh. <laughs> Continuing to monitor. He, like swum all the way up there to like bump into me. Red grass area. It has like an actual name, I just don't remember what it is. Here we go, we got some gold. Now I just need to find some silver somewhere to make the wiring kit. Short-range scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. So, looking around, are there any more outcomes? They bring back Cephalos and Monster Hunter. I don't. No, they haven't. At least, like, I've been keeping up with Rise. Like, I haven't uh, played it recently, but I've, you know, kept track of, like, the updates and stuff. And. Not that I know of, no. It's not in the game. So, not brought back yet. Um, they're busy in making, like, basically, like. I guess Rise's version of, like, arch-tempered monsters. I forget what they're, like, called in Rise, but, uh... Basically, like, harder-hitting, uh... Versions of, like, things that already exist. Like, I think they're called Risen. Like, Risen monsters. So, like, Risen Valstrax. And, uh... I think they added Kushala Diora. Unfortunately, it's probably, well, it's like my favorite Elder Dragon to like look at, or like one of my favorites, like design-wise, it's like my least favorite fight. But that's back and it's like risen. Stronger Apex, yeah, stronger than Apex monsters, yes. Those, they're a thing now. Which, they were already stronger than Apex monsters, those were afflicted monsters, and now they have another step after that, which is risen. So, yeah. Which makes me wonder, like, what the final, like, uh, big monster is gonna be, you know? Like, World had a Fatalis, like, I'm wondering if, like, to topple, like, the Risen stuff and things like that, if It'll be like one of the Fatalis variants, maybe? Or, uh, I don't know. So 
So, okay, these are the normal outcrops. I'm gonna make copper and uh, titanium. I need like the other kind that I recently came across in here. For like gold and stuff. Hopefully not, they were nightmarishly hard. Uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Well, it depends on if they get, like, reworked and, like, how rise is, right? Like, even with, like, uh, Apex monsters and, like, Risen and, like, Afflicted, uh, Ryze still feels like the easiest monster hunter to me. And... I don't know. I can't really judge it too much, though, Monster Hunter game difficulties, because I've only ever played World outside of Rise. But, uh, it feels like, you know, the, like, the wire bug and everything. You know, the, like, skills and armor customization customization they have. Um, like, Rise feels like the easiest Monster Hunter. So you guys, you are, yeah, a reef back. You're like the friendly, one of the friendly leviathan type monsters in this game. But how's my inventory looking? Alright, I'm gonna collect some plant samples if I really want to. Like when you uh, cut at the plants with your knife, you uh, can collect seeds. So if you want to grow them at like your base, you can. My Fatalis is like a scaled up version of that red lightning dragon in Elder. Uh, but you say that, and then like all the dragon fights <laughs> when I did them in Elden Ring were like super fucking easy. Uh, I did like a magic build and it's like, I don't know, it's like their attacks are like too telegraph, the dragons in Elder Ring. They were kind of a disappointment, especially when you compare them to things like a... Oh, I always forgot his name. Uh, Calamite? From like Dark Souls 1. Or even that combined uh, person's dragon fight, uh, Nameless King or whatever. Or the part where it shoots lightning at you, uh, yeah, true. so caught up like uh being around the reef back and like scanning things on it <laughs> but uh ended up pretty far away from base no my that was silver and it fell through the map i can't believe this <laughs> what game <laughs> Why do you hate me? Okay, it's daytime, I don't need like the flashlight on on this. Dreams power. Ooh. I could have had a thing of silver by now. This kind of sucks. There's more of the 
outcrop that has silver and gold in it over here, so we might be able to get some. Hopefully, you know, it doesn't drop through the map again. Well, I got some lead. Silver based there we go, silver. Are an essential component of many habitat modules. Now I just, uh, need one more. So now I'll be able to make both a wiring kit and a, a computer chip. So I think I still have uh, two things of table coral stored away. I think I'll use you. But like my creature eggs and you know. Alright, so I need copper wire and two table coral. to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Right, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. What do I need for... what was it? High capacity OT tank. So I need two glass. survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. <laughs> okay, uh, so high capacity OT tank. I need glass, titanium, and some silver. I can make more water.
okay, let's see what else. These, uh, the brain coral or whatever. There's, uh, air bubbles. scans show a nearby cave entrance, depth 90 meters, leading to an unknown environmental biome. There we go, got some silver, uh, copper, also need that. have everything I need to uh, make the better air tank. So, go do that. And I gotta try to remember uh, certain fragments for like the equipment and stuff are found in certain biomes. And um, I'm trying to remember which one has like the sea moth, which is like the mini one person sub. Like, we need uh, the blueprint for that, and then, uh, the blueprint for, uh, what's it called? The mobile vehicle bay, where you built the sub app, basically. Beacon. These are uh, useful for like marking biomes and uh, like entrances to certain areas. Then I actually have to unequip this so I can build the better version. Oh right, I need the two glass. There we go. If I get a wiring kit, which needs uh, two silver, I can make a rebreather. Nice. Okay. 
Oh, hold on. I need to make a... More batteries. It's the Seagull I'd run out. So I need to go get more copper. So I'm done soon here. Video message. Receiving pre recorded distress call laying back. This is Life Pod 3 uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay. Well, there are life pods in the cello, so uh, I'll actually be able to go over there pretty easily. So, uh, I do need to get more stuff to make batteries real quick. Radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drag core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. Oh, well. Okay. titanium it's like I want copper there we go it's like all those notes and I got enough copper to make a battery Goes on sale right now? Wow. Well, that's kind of uh, perfect timing then. <laughs> so I guess uh, you guys watching on the game industry stream, you know, 
good time to pick it up. Oh yeah, it's very easy to spend like 50 or so hours in this game. <laughs> uh, just doing things like exploring the biomes and like collecting stuff and like building a base. Like uh, Tsunaka was one of the games where um, when my one disc, uh, my one uh, hard drive crashed a while back, uh, Steam didn't keep my save data for it. That's also that's also Steam still more like every time Subnautica has like a major update, it uh says your saves aren't gonna work anyway and you have to restart. But uh the last time I played I had like a like a massive like base. That that was probably a good like fifty or so hours just building that, you know. And then there was like, you know, doing like the actual like objectives to like reach them in the game and stuff. Two silver to make a wiring kit. Okay. Apparently didn't get like any during my trip out there. Oh no, you heard Final Fantasy twelve so I'm getting corrupted at <laughs> PS2. Yeah, that sucks. Take you out and put you in there. And actually turn this titanium into it. You get it. There we go. Yeah, proves his face. Oh, okay. So I got a new battery for you, so switch. Then, hmm. I was gonna store the old one. Because uh, you can recharge batteries in this game, it just requires getting the blueprint for the recharging station, so might as well hold on to two of the empty batteries. my little chest right here. Might actually how much does it take to make a different one? Need four titanium. Oh yeah, I wouldn't have been salty for a long time too. Like losing hundreds of hours of like progress, like sucks. Apparently, got a new radio. Pod 6. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. 
We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Okay. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Approximate coordin coordinations. It doesn't even show me it on the map right now. to approximately 100 meters. Oh, and there, here's an image from it. That's available photographic data. It's been downloaded. So they landed in one of the red grass looking zones. They're approximately 100 meters down. Here are a number of natural arches and rock stacks. 400 meters west, northwest of life pod four. Okay. It's still like a ways off though, so worry about that later. We can go to Life Plot 3 though, because it's uh, in the shallows where we are now. And fairly close. We need to uh, start gathering more of you guys for water and food. Every time I think I've grabbed it, <laughs> I don't. There we Here they are. So, life pod three. So, oh, that's mine. I wish you could, uh, and um, like check off, like cross out that you you gone here or not. But I guess the best way to do that is just turn off the signal. Leading you to it. Near blueprint acquired. Anyone needs help? Oh, uh, no, I'm good. So, blueprint, and then what is this? Integrating new PDA data. Why was that so loud? Jeez. <laughs> uh, audio like broke there. I'm just gonna hang out on the surface and uh, look at this PDA entry. Uh, oh, it's audio on. Uh, no, this is this is my first playthrough on stream, but uh, not my first time playing this game. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of uh, 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cellar rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? I'm sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. Yeah, I've fully uh, played through this game on like my own time before. I probably got like a hundred or so hours into it. Uh, 
get all the achievements and everything. Went around like scanning like literally everything, including uh, the dangerous leviathans that can eat you, <laughs> which was a challenge. I need to hit that beacon on me. I need to get back to like the red grass zone and uh, drop it so I always know where it is. So it's over there where the silver and stuff is. Thanks, yeah. Have a good day. <laughs> Alright, um... What was I doing? Oh, crap. <laughs> uh, I need to make more water. Cause I always seem to run out real fast. I need to get the, like... Yeah. The disinfected water. Cause this, uh... 12 ounces versus 6 from the bladder fish. Which means I have to like make bleach. <laughs> Which bleach is salt and coral too. Okay. I'll mark that one. And then put you. I can make a compass. Uh, Emergency. A quantum detonation. I guess uh, in the, <laughs> the Aurora is blowing up. The reactor will reach a supercritical state. In T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, <laughs> oh, I like that the game's like, yeah, there's radiation now, so uh, you might want this. <laughs> wow. You know, for that uh, large-ass explosion that happened, uh, the ship still looks, like, fairly intact, surprisingly. So it couldn't have been that bad. <laughs> I'll just uh, slide back in here. So um, you can actually go on board the Aurora, but like right now, since it you know exploded, uh, I have to make a radiated radiation suit to go over there. But I already have the things I need, which is the uh, the fiber mesh and uh, the lead. <laughs> Might as well, I guess, make that like right away. Seems important, you know? There we go. <laughs> it's only mildly heavily irradiated, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So, I'm always running out of water. So, I should probably get this stuff to make bleach to then turn into water. Um, and then, uh, after like stocking up on like a little bit of food and water and like med kits and stuff, I'll probably go uh, check out the Aurora. 
Because we have everything I, you need to, like, fully explore the ship. Because uh, the, like, important tools for it are you need the repair tool because there's, like, some broken panels and stuff inside the ship. Uh, rude. Fucking stop. I'm trying to talk to chat. <laughs> uh, you need that and, like, um... Sometimes there's like fires you have to put out, so like the fire extinguisher, but like I think the game also just like places them nearby on the aurora itself. Look how many teeth you've lost! Biting me and biting random metal bits. Look at all of this! So many teeth! This is insane! <laughs> You're losing even more as we speak! <laughs> store that was. I, that was like the jackpot right there because uh the stalker teeth are used to make like enameled glass stronger glass so you know uh where's my empty one right here there we go i accidentally dropped one whoops Yeah, their teeth uh, regrow. We can actually, uh, go, go get oxygen first, but, uh... The notes! Uh, the databank entries on, uh, creatures. So, stalker, yeah. Appears to be attracted to titanium deposit, which tends to sharpen and put stress on its teeth. Stalker's teeth are unusually hard and fast growing. Its elongated snout can deliver huge biting pressure to larger attackers while also being used to reach small herbivores seeking refuge amongst the rocks. And I think more in depth on their teeth. Extraordinary lightness and strength and contain only trace amounts of calcium. And just show signs of wear and are studded with metal flakes, providing evidence that the stalkers chew on metal deposits in order to sharpen their teeth. And I think I think they're kinda of like, you know, like sharks, right? Like their teeth are constantly like falling out and like regrowing through like their lifespans. Was right on a mission to make a collection. <laughs> it makes sense considering how many that one just lost you. Well, plus, if they're like you know, chewing on like metal constantly, then yeah, they probably lose quite a bit of teeth here and there, and then have them regrow. So I need shell plate, right? No. You. Oh yeah, it's stuff from the giant coral tubes. Then I need to get some salt, which uh you know it tends to be on like the bottom down here. Uh be on the lookout. I'm rolling 
gathering stuff for please. So we should probably get some stuff for, uh, what is it? More batteries. Because this one's already, like, dying, so, like, 64%. exist in this game so I mean hold on thank you there's technically uh there is one I would believe um and hold on give me one second I'll, uh, be right back my model's gonna like wig out for a bit because um, I'm gonna be like standing up but uh you know it is what it is I'll send the surface so you know I don't get drowned or something <laughs> Alright, there it goes. <laughs> I like how uh, looking over, for whatever reason, like the resting face when I like stand up for like my model is like me angry for whatever reason. It's not like the neutral expression. <laughs> it's the angry one. But uh, yeah, so if you want to know how uh, much I've played Subnautica or like how into this game I got, it, I have a notebook. <laughs> it can be face, yeah. I have a notebook where I listed all of the biomes and what can be found in each biome. So all the resources there, including like the types of fish, everything. Uh, <laughs> where, uh, like their depth, like how far they go, where they're usually located, like all of this. So I'm like very well prepared, you know, for this game basically. <laughs> uh, so there's a biome in the game. It's like the reason I grabbed this notebook. Well, since me, you know, currently playing it is a. Uh, there's a biome called like the Lost River or something like that, uh, and that's kind of like where you'll see like the brine pool, stuff, but it's like this really like far down, in depth, uh, kind of like underground cave system. And it's like Lost River because you know it's like, the brine pools or whatever make it look like. A river under the ocean. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Just getting back to that. I the, it's good that I, like, grabbed this notebook, because, uh, I can look up, uh, where to find the sea moth fragments, more or less. Which, they'll actually be in the crash zone, which is basically the area around the Aurora, more or less. So that's what those will be, and then uh, I need to find fragments for the mobile vehicle bay. Look to know if this is not hyper sailing for chance of brine pools. Oh yeah. Picking up where we are, anyways. I don't see my oil vehicle bay on here. Oh, here we go. Oh, you can actually find them like in the kelp forest areas. 
So, uh, you know. Yeast. Okay. That's good to know. So, I need three more salt. But how many fish have I grabbed? One, but I have some on me. Vital source is stabilizing. Here are more fish as well. And then, uh, right, I needed to get some copper. Actually start ignoring the titanium that comes out of the little outcrops because uh, there's like more efficient ways to get titanium. Like the metal cell that you pick up gets you like four pieces per. And uh, if you scan fragments where you already have the blueprint for that item, that also gets you uh, titanium. So like see, like I have the blueprint and armor to scan this again and give me a piece of titanium instead. titanium checks. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's like the overabundant in this game, which I understand why, because it's like the major like resource in like pretty much like every building aspect. Like making your base and like uh, the submersibles and like all of that require uh, titanium. There's probably the mobile vehicle bay over here, too. So I need two more of those. One more 
for salt. Evening, please. You know, have the vehicle based off. Sorry, so uh, checking my phone real quick. And a bunch of like uh, pop ups. Nothing important though. Still looking for mobile vehicle bay fragments. Be advised, a common complication for cave divers is massive orientation, followed by eventual asphyxiation. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't even that much of a cave though.
quick. of this game is just like looking around and hoping like you find what you need. <laughs> like uh finding the beautiful bay fragments and stuff. about that a little bit later. Right now I'm gonna go uh, make bleach so it can turn into water, pick the fish I got, and then uh, we'll go explore the aurora. Quinn, trading ship Sunbeam. Aurora D. Reed, over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run oh. low on engine grease, send an SOS. You offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. Yes. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits, running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. Wow. Someone's in a bad mood. <laughs> Bleach is an essential chemical used for cleaning wounds and purifying water. I'm Wolf Spain. Hey! Thanks for the follow. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, hope you enjoy underwater exploration. <laughs> Playing some Naka. <laughs> PC can run some Naka on minimum. Uh, I mean, that's still not bad. And I still remember when this game came out in like early access and it like ran super terrible. It was also like, it released like really early access, like bare bones. There wasn't much to do in the game when uh, I first bought it. They really improved like a lot. It's like even now, like the most recent update, uh, they added things from Below Zero, which is the sequel. Yeah, it is a good game. It's really fun. It's like really chill, but at like same times, uh, can you know there can be tense moments like when you're in the zones where the leviathans are. Uh, and I really enjoy like all the crafting elements to it. It's probably got like one of my favorite like base building 
aspects in a like survival games. Preparing the day's water ration ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration and eventual death. I I mean yeah, I would hope so. <laughs> Uh, okay. Wait, this makes two each? The bleach does? Oh, I was not paying attention. Oh. <laughs> well, we're like stocked on water for now, then. Consider disguising the flavor of unsavory meats with salt or locally sourced herbs and spices. Right, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. I think I'm gonna make another little uh, chest to put outside. Mainly for these things, which these don't do anything in the game. They're mainly, I guess, decorations for your base, more or less. But, uh, I'm gonna keep them anyway. Because what's the point of building a base on an alien planet if you can't make it feel like home? <laughs> okay, put those in there. Now, I have... I think I'd like to, like... Two more fish, so I'm like decently stocked in food, and then uh, so I have to like eat pretty soon anyway, and then uh go to the aurora. everything I need. Repair tool, extra batteries, beacon and stuff. Yeah, should be good. Try to be on the lookout for the mobile vehicle based stuff. Nice. All right. 
Walker. Sure, I'm going in the right direction still. Yeah. Okay. Like, we're finding more furniture than we are, uh, like, the crafting fragments for what we actually need, which is, like, the sub and stuff. And, you know, at least when we do build the base, it'll be fully furnished, I guess. like the front of the ship because it's like the main way to enter from what I remember. save as I get uh, closer in the front too because uh, I have had this game like crash on me before. It happens like very rarely but it does occur sometimes. Yes, you, <laughs> you hear it? <laughs> Gee, I wonder what that roaring could be. <laughs> yep, there he is. Life form readings in this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. Uh, go get some air real quick. Oh, it's probably nothing. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> we're fine. No, but for real, we're actually are fine, because, uh... Wow, he went right for that stalker. Um, as long as we don't go, like, all the way out where it is, we're, uh, we're good. So this one actually got closer than they usually do. To the front of the ship. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe there's, like, a little spot. I can like squeeze through. I'm just gonna find it. 
it's on the camera, but... Oh yeah, also that, uh... They never fixed the, you know, Reaper Leviathan's, like, facing through the ground. <laughs> so sometimes, you, you know, you really do get surprised. <laughs> by them. Can I like squeeze through here? No? Actually, I might have to go a bit further out. Take it on the ship. It's also becoming nighttime, which really, like, you know, makes this worse. I'm gonna have to swim out. So the way up is like this ramp over here. A broken ship. Now hopefully, you know. Warning. Ship structural integrity is low. Fire suppression equipment and laser cutters may be required. Exploration oh, right. is conducted at your own risk. The laser cutter. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Can't actually get uh, fully explored the ship yet. I forgot about that. Well, it was you know a nice little side adventure. I guess. Well, if I can uh, hopefully get out of here without getting eaten, that'd be great. be exploring the Aurora yet. Well that just means uh, I can look around the uh, this is the crash zone uh, look for the Seamoth fragments and uh, the mobile vehicle bay stuff and then hopefully find those relatively quick fragments are generally like pretty obvious. They stand out a lot.
hope everyone's day going. <laughs> Not much to ever, like, really talk about going on in-game, so might as well talk about other stuff. Right. Uh, let me see. I'm looking real quick uh, to see where exactly the seam up fragments are. So in the crash zone, and where else? Forty degrees is pretty warm for March. Uh, well, that's good, I guess. <laughs> oh, I hear another one. Because I'm, hold on, let me. Yeah, I'm close towards the back of the ship. It's where the other Leviathan likes to hang out. But I gotta explore for fragments. here and everything, yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. Another mobile vehicle bay. Okay, I need one more. close it actually is. <laughs> Fire reactor. 30 seconds. me sir this is still the kelp zone i should be fine <laughs> i also saw a fragment over there it's probably something important 
I see it. We're going for it. It's for the Cyclops, the, the large sub. progress when you die. You, I think you lose some of your items in your uh, inventory. Oh. It's funny that I find a fragment for the large sub before I find any for the small one though. So let's try to be on the lookout. Oh uh, no, the bends are not a concern. In this game. They kind of throw a uh, realism. Like stuff with deep dive vein uh, out the window, <laughs> more or less. So you don't have to worry about like decompressing or anything, uh, surfacing too quick. Oh, here we go, sea moth fragment. Wow, there's just like a bunch of stuff over here. Dang. Careful not to go uh, past a hundred. Um, it's my uh, I don't have the rebreather, so my oxygen will go down pretty fast. Seat mouth fragment. Let's see if I can find two more over here. Seems like a it was a good spot for them. Also, while I'm over here, might as well. Uh this. And then what is this biome actually called? Grassy plateaus. There we go. So now, you know, always be able to find this. That was a good spot. In case there's anything um, over here that I ever really need to get. Do like a bird's eye view kind of thing to try to find the Seamoth fragments. 
actually dive if I uh, actually see one. Giant whale squids, yeah. Detecting increased foreign bacteria levels in the water. Performing a self scan is advised. Oh, okay. Self scan complete. Foreign bacteria count has reached statistically significant levels. No adverse effects detected. Uh, for symptoms. Okay, but that still sounds bad. <laughs> Are they like. I know they make noises, I guess, akin to what you'd hear whales, but. I don't know. They're called reefbacks, but like the way they look makes me think like of jellyfish, right? Even though they're not like a uh, squishy. <laughs> they got like that shape rather to them, I guess. or choose to be. At least they're friendly, you know? Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah, I know it is, but I, like, need to scan this for Near blueprint acquired. Okay, okay. So, we we have the mobile vehicle bay that we can make now. Uh, we got the stuff for Seamal. Uh, the blueprint. So, probably head back to make those. Uh, should probably g gather some silver though too to make the rebreather first because it's probably going to be a while before we can actually go inside the aurora. <laughs> no idea of the pronounce either. Yeah, it's like you know, I could try pronouncing this, but could also just ignore the word it says. Gloss over it. I did that, uh, I think a couple of times when uh, reading notes and back here. Ow! <laughs> so many of the fish are mean in this game. <laughs> Just like swam up and bit me and then left. <laughs> Rude. Take a risk and like go into this like section of the ship that broke off because there was a PDA entry in here. I want to see if I can get. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Integrating new PDA data. Hopefully, I can uh, PDA scan data. anything that's scannable in here like super quick. New blueprint acquired. Uh, okay. I got... Oh god, please don't get stuck. There we go. I got what I could get. There was a door in there. Um, it had, like, that black, uh, like, scorch mark on it. Um, those are doors you can open with, like, the laser cutter. But I you know, honestly don't have that yet, so... Come back to this. You know, after like I create the seamoth and stuff, that'll be the next thing I go looking for, so... Where is it located? I'll pause real quick. Laser cutter fragments. Uh, let's see.
Hmm, looking. I think they write it down or don't actually know. They could just be spread across like all of the stuff. Oh, well, worry about that later. I need to get more silver though before I uh, head out of this area. for outcrops. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. This one right here. There we go. Do I have at least two on me? I do. Okay, good. Go for more though. signs stabilizing there we go I got some silver which I need to make uh, the rebreather so just head back for now and then see what's needed for the mobile vehicle bay and then the uh, seamoth once that's built. They need titanium ingot, lubricant, and a power cell. Uh, this power cell needs two batteries and silicon rubber. Okay. Silicon rubber. 
armors. I wonder if I can uh use the empty batteries to make it. <laughs> Oh, I just need fiber mesh. Which I don't have any more, so I have to go uh, get some creep vine. Then titanium ingot and end. <laughs> Empty batteries, nice. Alright, so I get all that. I should be able to, yeah, make one by one every day. Vital signs stabilizing. Here we go. Then I'm uh, getting a new radio message. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad, how many of you. Yeah, you did it, and you were being rude. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. Oh, we might get rescued. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big. On a rock that small was in VR, and I blew it. Uh. A bad option, all right, but so are all the others. Well then, <laughs> that dude really needs to learn how to, you know, turn off his mic. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so main mobile breakaway. Get rid of the bat. Um, uh, gonna release it a little bit over here, a little bit deeper. No, I dropped it. Oh no, no. <laughs> gonna. Whip it and release it. Right? Uh, there we go. Nice. Now, what do I need to make the sea mama? So, titanium ingot, power cell, two glass. Lubricant and lead. Got another uh, radio message too. Okay, grab some tree vine. Got titanium.
better is so called rubber, right? Just need two glass and the Officer Keen in light pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Huh. Rendezvous coordinates Sorry, corrupted. Man. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Lightpod 19, second officer Kane's last broadcast location. 300 meters? Uh. <laughs> Dang. like two quarts per uh, thing of glass. No. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I knew you were gonna do it. I wanted to scan you. Around a thousand feet, I think. Oh, jeez, yeah. Hopefully they got out of the light pod before it sunk that far down. You know? Uh, oh right, I forgot to equip the rebreather. Yeah, there we go. Stored the radiation helmet until uh, I'm ready to go in the Aurora.
Okay. Store two. Well, I can store one of you. I can't really store two of you. Some more space. All right, let's build our little sub. mode of transport but remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels <laughs> all right i think i've done plenty of swimming you know hey there it is so it's got a slot for upgrades which obviously we don't have yet and then it but it also had a uh, oh maybe that's from the upgrades. There's uh, an upgrade you can get that's like a little like storage thing basically. So extra uh, inventory more or less. So yeah, but this I think what's the definition of you? Welcome aboard, Captain. So, Seamoth can currently, without upgrades, go to 200. So, we can't reach Officer Keen's last broadcast location just yet. But we can go. Uh, where were they? Go to where Life Pot 17 is. So, yeah. Gonna explore. Uh, I think they said there were. What? At the edge of a cave or in one? Here to go see what that's about. But I'll do that in a moment. Uh, right now I'm gonna take a quick uh, bathroom break. <laughs> so I'll be right back in a couple minutes.
Bro, I forgot to pause the game when I left. <laughs> uh, I'm surprised, you know. Oh, the battery for the Seamoth didn't go down? Or like anything. I guess because I'm like not moving, <laughs> more or less. Uh, go back to the game. <laughs> yeah, you know, good thing I wasn't in an area where like something bad could happen. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, but it's like still 100% for uh, my character blocks it, but uh, do this. <laughs> Just break my neck a little bit. Still 100% for like a uh, energy. Uh, power for it and like uh yeah I think food and water barely went down too so that's good <laughs> it also tells me the temperature 28 celsius yes yeah, so just you know save real quick but uh yeah I'm back now let's uh head over to the life pod Uh, I think after this, like, you know, checking out this life pod and stuff, I'll probably gather a bunch of, uh, titanium and, uh, some more quartz to make it last, and then, uh, you can search out a, you know, place to build the base at. The question is, is, like, do we want, like, a fully underwater base or, like, a half and half? Because there are islands in this game, um like land masses as that one uh radio entry said um there's two islands we could build on integrating new pda data oh uh, why why <laughs> why does picking up pdas like break the audio it's so weird like it's super loud So I thought they said they were, like, near a cave. Oh, I guess... Over here, maybe? 82 degrees. Ooh. Nice and warm. <laughs> very nice. So very much like a tropical, like, ocean. At least in this part. So yeah, I guess this is a cave down here. I think, hmm. Does pod 17 still show up on my map? I think it does, it will. I'm gonna leave that marked. I'm gonna get things to uh, make another beacon like I did for over there like mark the entrance of the the cave so I think I need titanium and copper for that as we go deeper. Oh yeah, for sure. I never really paid much attention to the uh, temperature in the game because, uh, well, cold doesn't factor into anything. Uh, heat does because there are, um, there's some areas in the game where there's like the underwater like volcanoes and like thermal vents. Uh, so you need like a special suit to protect you against all of that. Yeah, 
again, look at all these stalker teeth. <laughs> it's really just like this one spot. Probably that same stalker, just constantly losing teeth. <laughs> Sulfur deposits in the local cave systems. Sulfur is an essential component of the repair tool. It's like, thank you for letting me know, PDA, but I already built one. A little late on that. <laughs> Prime tools, volcano events, sea monsters, the ocean be dangerous. True. It do be. <laughs> pin blueprints from here. You can also pin them from here. Don't have to keep going back to the, the crafting station. Oh, nice. So, if I have some copper wire and a wiring kit, I can make a compass at some point. Which will, you know, definitely be useful. And it's copper ore and titanium. Ultra glide fins. Move faster when swimming. Need lithium. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Uh, <laughs> I forgot they changed this. Um, so the multi purpose room, it's like the main room uh, for like your base, basically. Um, it used to be like readily available like from the start, but they changed it to now like you have to go find fragments. So can't even make like a base fully yet unless I just want it to like be composed of like hallways, <laughs> which isn't very useful. So we'll have to find uh, those fragments. And then we already have a way to generate power for it too, a bioreactor, which Actually, isn't that hard to make? Titanium wiring kit and lubricant. <laughs> Maze of corridors, yeah. I don't even know if you can like uh, put things in like uh, the connecting uh, compartments, like these, these hallways, basically. Can't put anything big anyway. Uh, what was I in here looking for? I still need to find pieces of the laser cutter, right? Okay. Well, I guess let's make. Oh wait, what was it uh, for the compass? Let's let the stuff listed. Uh, uh, Double wire and wiring kit. I can make that like, right now. So tools. Yeah, there we go. Compass. Nice. Uh, 
then take some copper ore. I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna make like a, two beacons. Maybe I'll make three. Just have them on hand for if I need to mark locations. I don't think there's a limit to how many beacons you can place. At least, if there is, I don't remember ever, like, actually, you know, reaching it. <laughs> and I marked, like, a lot of spots <laughs> when I, uh, played this game last. Like all, like, all the different, like, biomes, like, where they are, because they each have, like, different, uh, materials or, like, uh, fragments in them than, uh, entrances to, like, certain caves and stuff. <laughs> Instead of breaking the game because I put down too many beacons. <laughs> just like hundreds of them all over the ocean. <laughs> That'd be funny. Uh, alright. I got plenty of water. Uh, need to go get more fish so I have food. So I'm gonna be uh, traveling around away from base for a while. So, let's see. So, I guess put you in there so I have more space. And then the glass and gold. Oh, I haven't scanned you fully yet. There we go. Five view. Actually, I got six. And then I'm gonna get three salts because you can uh, basically make preserved, like salted fish, and they last longer. Because uh, food does degrade over time in your inventory, unfortunately. I'm not breaking him out vegans yet. Alright, salt. Uh, let's see. Let's check you for silver. So I always need that for wine kits. Say blue. I think I'll make the vehicles yellow and the beacons orange. Which means making all the signals orange too, because that's pretty much what they are beacons.
more gold. So it should be good. On food for a little bit. Then I'll use my last leech in here to make some more water. And we should be good to explore for a while. Hopefully, uh, should probably look it up. Uh, get fragments for the room. Without any, like, problems. I think, uh, from what I remember, fragments for, like, the multi-purpose room for the base come from scanning, uh, other Welcome bases you find, Captain. basically. So that's where the life pod was. There's a large chunk of uh, Aurora over there, but it probably has uh, doors that need the laser cutter to get into it. So we'll ignore that. Just go for this cave. Which... We're already almost at like <laughs> max depth for uh, Sea moth, unfortunately. So, probably won't be able to explore the cave all that much. Because of that. Unless we, like, stick to the ceiling. in this cave support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life force. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. Is the world procedurally generated? Uh, I don't remember. I don't think. It is, like, the layout of some things here and there might be different. Like, how much, like, kelp you know, the kelp zones, how many kelp zones are like surrounding you at the start and so on and so forth, but because this game has like a like actual story and plot to it that's somewhat linear, um I think a lot of the locations stayed the same because you know, you have to be able to like get back to them for like plot points or whatever to progress forward so like having those always change would probably be a uh, troublesome <laughs> for players. So I see like parts of a base down there. It's like, hmm. I guess I can get out and like swim around the sea glide and then just use sea moth as like oxygen. Yeah, because a lot of the plot is like you, uh, or ways to progress in the story is like you find a note or whatever that references uh, another location and then like that pops up on your map and you go there and you keep doing that over and over basically. And it takes you to like new biomes and uh, like different parts of the world, you know. So it so I don't think they can really have it, like, those locations, like, change. Because, uh, the islands, for example, like, are always in, like, the same part, like, spots. Like, always to, like, the northeast or southeast or, like, wherever they are from, like, your starting position.
gonna see. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Saved. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Try to explore this cave like a little bit. Oh, see, like there, a little like lava. That thing. Uh. Excuse you. I wanted to know if there's anything like worthwhile in here right now. Ah, leave me alone. John's about to go. Yeah. Like, scan you without issues. Crab snake. <laughs> Is it you making that noise? You're so loud. You sound larger than you actually are. room. in a cave but can uh, very clearly still hear the reflects and stuff. I'm trying to see if there's any like uh no notes to gather from. I don't see any. Oh there it is. Nice. Remember that materials you gather are the property of the All Terra Corporation. You will be liable to reimburse the full market price. Your current bill stands at 3 million credits. Uh. Say what? <laughs> And all the other crafting stuff, like making a sea one too. Great. Wow. Can't believe they're charging me money for trying to survive. So that was uh I thought seventeen. Can't really go, you know, explore the cave all that much. And I know we can only go to like a depth of uh 
200, but I wonder if we can uh, swim down the rest of the way without too much issue. The sea glide. Uh, save real quick. like pretty banged up. It's probably a uh, fear that. Here we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. I'm trying to like figure out what biome this is. It's just like a lot of like rock pillars right now. That looks kind of like a tunnel or cave. There's a bunch of debris over here though that I'm gonna check out. where you can uh, dock the uh, sea maw at your base, basically. Blueprint and then the batteries in it gets recharged by your base. Diversity unusually low, cause unknown. Oh. Is what they're actually called moon pools? Oh, see, I didn't know that. That's cool. Cell charger, nice. There's some water. Uh, and then a door that needs laser cutter to open. Okay. Oh, hey, what's 
What's up? Okay. So the broadcast is like maximum depth reached. All damage over imminent. here. Try to get as close as possible so I can like swim down to it. Data. It's still so loud, Jesus. <laughs> Anything inside? Signal location uploaded to the PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Integrating new PDA data. That's so loud. Oh yeah, yeah. It's uh probably uh Subnaga is probably like one of my favorite um like survival games. Especially if you like enjoy base building. Uh Subnautica has a uh, lot of options to make like really large and like extravagant bases. <laughs> you know, you're home away from home more or less while you're stuck on the alien planet. And like there's a lot of like world lore that they put into it. Uh they got voice acting for like the PDA entries and everything. So. It was like successful enough that they uh, ended up making a sequel. Oh, yeah, too many games. Yeah, I get that. Oh, hey, look, you know. We ended up like right underneath one of the islands. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah. Let's see. There's like a certain spot to this island where it's like easier to uh, climb up and like see everything. Where is it? For 659 games, jeez, yeah. I mean, I'm sure over the years I'll get there eventually, more or less. But I totally get like, uh, having too many things and like not being able to decide what to play. You know, that's kind of why I did like a poll for uh, games recently. Where is the like actual beach? I don't want to like go too far around because I can't remember if like this island's on the edge of uh, where some of the leviathans like to hang out. And I would like to avoid not getting uh, eaten, you know? collection alone consists of like 60 games. Yeah, but like, do they count as like 60 individual games on Steam? <laughs> I know there's like uh, some sets of DLC count as like their own standalone game according to Steam for whatever reason. Uh, it's really odd. <laughs> so I think in my Steam library because of that it says I have more games than I technically have because some of it's actually DLC. I think I'm uh, just gonna climb up here. Individual carts, uh. Huh? It's crazy that they like have 60 games in there though. Picking up multiple energy signatures on the island's surface.
think they count as DLC, uh. Right, okay, let's, you know, I guess scan all the plants here. Food and water, so I should probably eat something. Vital signs stabilizing. There we go. Actually, now I'm here on this island, I'm gonna gather some of these plants, like seeds. So if I remember. Yeah, this tree counts as food. It gives food and water when you eat it. But, like, we want seeds so I can uh, plant them eventually at base. And then have to go gather fish all the time. There's a. Uh, someone built a base up there. To go check out. Time to do an inventory between all platforms. But probably have around 200 games. Yeah. I'm. Yeah, I don't know for sure either. Like, I don't know the exact number I have on Steam, and then it's like all the uh, console games. Because I, I kept all of my consoles, <laughs> like every single one. So like I still have my old like uh, Super Nintendo uh, that works and like games for it and uh, like my PlayStation and stuff like that. So, you know, who knows how many games I actually have. That rocks, yeah. It's just like I need a, we have one. Um, Logan kept one, like a, the CC... TV, like the old TVs, uh, so we just have to get that set up so like I can actually, you know, play like Super Nintendo games again and like not have them look terrible, because they don't look like so great on like, uh, you know, the flat screens and like the HD TVs. Because there are still some games, you know, to this day, I have not beaten, uh, on Super Nintendo. Like, the first one that comes to mind specifically is, like, the Jurassic Park game. Because, uh, there's no way to, like, save your progress, so you have to, like, leave the console on the entire time. Acquired. Huh? Playing Final Fantasy VI? Oh, nice. Yeah, outside of games on stream, it's been like a little bit of Final Fantasy XIV here and there, just new, so new, print. new content, and then, uh... I was playing Sons of the Forest, uh... with friends for a while, but that kind of died off, so now... I don't know, whatever new other new game they decide they want to play. Fills up fast. Okay, let's see. Can I get a seed? I actually think the fruit are the seeds. Hopefully. Set up so much better than the other remaster I have. Oh, yeah. That's always nice. Like, uh, when things end up working out. Integrating new PDA data. It's like this game wants to break my ears every time I get a PDA entry. <laughs> Why? 
What uh where are my entries even like? Is it data downloads? All oh, right, the PDAs we get around the life pods. I haven't listened to it. the recent ones I collected. Get remiss from one three still on this one. About four or three six though. Yeah. Uh, hmm. okay. How's just, just play this. It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared and I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. And there's weird looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a no, zero not the cinema. <laughs> My cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. Oh. Oh yeah, for sure. Like rebuying games. Yeah, I get that. That's like one of the reasons why I want to get like eventually. Why my like uh Kofi. Like uh, thing is set up is uh. For, like, an ex external capture card, so, uh, I can stream, like, the games off the, uh, PS5 without, you know, worrying about PlayStation being like, Nah, this cutscene's a spoiler, and we can't let you show this to people. <laughs> you know? Because that happened when we played through, uh, Strangers of Paradise. It's like, having a capture card would let me use, you know, OBS, my computer, and just, like, circumvent all of that. <laughs> And then plus, I wouldn't have to, like, rebuy the games on, like, uh, Steam. Because I would like to play things like, um, Death Stranding or, uh, maybe even, like, some of the Yakuza games eventually. It's just, like, all of those I own on, like, PlayStation. Yeah, even though it was the same cutscene from the beginning, like, yeah, the intro cutscene, just slightly different. And even though the game had told you before that cutscene that, uh, uh, I guess spoilers, <laughs> if you haven't seen Stranger in Paradise, uh, that Jack becomes, uh, Chaos. They, uh, still, uh, made it so I couldn't play the cutscene on stream. I'm so dumb. <laughs> and it's always, like, Final Fantasy games, too. Like, I don't know what Square Enix has against, like, uh, playing certain cutscenes, like, via streaming or, like, recording, or even screenshots, um, when Final Fantasy XV was still kind of new, I wanted to, to uh, take a screenshot like during uh, part of the ending and it wouldn't let me. <laughs> so yeah, definitely before I have, like stream any more console games anytime soon, I want to get that uh, capture card. It's like I got plenty of uh, PC games, so, you know, got time. Get things to do. <laughs> uh, Life Pod 19, Second Officer Keen's crew log. To all crew, if you are reading this and you have followed my, the automatic distress signal broadcast by this Life Pod's onboard computer, contrary to my orders, I've been forced to evacuate. Your orders are to disregard my safety and attempt to reach the designated rendezvous co coordinates at the nearest landmass. Hope to see you there. This is Aurora, come in. This is Keen. Life pod detached to okay, planet fall in 30 seconds. The computer has identified a landmass at the attached coordinates. I want you to regroup the crew there. Understood, but they are your responsibility now. Don't let them down. Captain, you need to evacuate. Negative. You'll need the ship in one piece if you're going to contact HQ on the long range. I'm attempting a controlled descent. Oh, oh, no. oh, things are just going. Or I guess things just, you know, went horribly wrong. Jeez. Six, like 27 years old. You know, stupidly there, yeah. Yeah, F's in chat for the captain. Who, uh, you know, went down with his ship. <laughs> like, 
all good <laughs> good captains apparently do. Like, jeez. Also, so much for it, like, being in one piece when, uh, it just recently blew up. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess still mostly intact, but, yeah. Right, um, were there other ones besides that? Right, light five, six is a clue, because we don't have- Oh, Degasi. So, journal entries, uh, they bring it up later, but the Degasi is like another ship that, uh, crash landed on this planet before the Aurora did. I don't know by like how many years, or like, time or whatever, but yeah, we're not the first people to, you know, be here. Hence why there's like a uh, bases and stuff that you can find. Degasi High School. <laughs> yeah. Full of drama. <laughs> so we have a log from one of the crew. Uh, number three. So I guess we'll kind of be listening to these out of order. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. Father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Uh... Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. Sounds a little concerning. Visions are getting worse. Marguerite and Father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. Man, a lot of those uh, entries are just sad. Right, and then like the world lore building between the giant, uh... Go into dependent states, but they're also like, what would you call it? Like the mega corporations, almost? Like a lot of like sci-fi games kind of have? Like, uh, what is it? What were aliens, like, major ones? It was like, Sixten Synthetics and then, uh... What, Wayland Yutani? And then, uh, I can never remember, like, the stuff in Mass Effect. <laughs> they're, d they're big, like, mega corpse government stuff. Uh, Transguild Profile, Mongolian Independent States. When the hostilities of the expansion cease, the tactical value of the hard-to-reach colony systems on the edge of the China territory territories plummeted. Recouping from the war, the central government left them to starve. The systems in question declared independence, claiming their infrastructure as their own, and their intent to become self-sufficient. Today, the Mongolian states is seen as a relatively minor power on the outskirts of colonized space, yet it remains one of the fastest expanding trans in the galaxy. Uh, Mongolian societies inherited their technologies from these Chinese, but incorporated the customs of their multicultural colonist base. Non-synthetic food re remains popular. Religion is a strong component of society, but the Mongolians take a relaxed view of competing faiths, believe gods to be universally and equally flawed. And then was like a lesson saying Ted Pharaoh. Yeah. More or less. Um, he was trying to like live for other like forever, kind of like a Ted Pharaoh was, if you like, you know, take the pre like Prometheus movies as a uh, canon. That was Wayland, right? He like made David to look like him when he was younger, and then the uh, they went looking for uh, the space jockeys, like the like created humans. Hmm. 
And then he got murdered, you know? <laughs> By said space jockeys. Elderly guy Pierce, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, scan of the uh, ocean and the planet we're on. 454, 4546B. Uh, category 3 ocean planet, oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere. Extensive biodiversity, safety warnings. May support Leviathan class predators. <laughs> yeah, we well, have already seen no one of those. Uh, water contaminated with high levels of foreign bacteria. Planet is beyond Federation space. Rescue unlikely. Wow. So yeah, a lot of uh, you're you're most likely on your own while you're stuck here, kind of thing going on. <laughs> so I got some seeds from you. I scanned the planner box. So. You know, whenever I can build a base, I'll be able to grow food. There's another little outlook over there. These aren't actually, uh, unfortunately, the actual rooms. Like, the base rooms for the base. It's like a observation of whatever. That's it. Near blueprint acquired. Ooh, stasis rifle fragment. So, uh, stasis rifle, I honestly, the only time I used it <laughs> playing this game was uh, when I wanted to be dumb and uh, try to scan the leviathans. <laughs> uh, because they hold them in place for like a couple of seconds. So it's like you, you stun like the reaper leviathan, you scan it for a little bit, stun it again, scan, rinse and repeat until you hopefully have the data entry and like can maybe escape uh, without being eaten. <laughs> yeah, maybe. It all depends on, like, uh, so the sea moth, I think, the little stuff we have, can take, like, one or two attacks from the Reaper Leviathan before it's destroyed. So, like, if you have your, you know, sea moth nearby and you get in it, you, like, you survive being grabbed, like, once, and then successfully, like, hopefully speed away, then you're good. There are other leviathans in this game, though, that are a bit trickier to uh, try to scan. This way? Oh, potatoes, nice. Just came you. And then you got some marble melon. Uh, okay. Near blueprint acquired. And then uh, another PDA. 
entry. Integrating new PDA data. Ah, my ears. <laughs> oh, uh, log one. Habita habitation location. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials. Nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. Well, it's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight made up, but I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. Uh, well then. <laughs> uh, alright. Bit of a disagreement on uh, where they should be trying to survive, huh? Eat the fish I have too. Cause you guys count as seeds. I think for you, yeah, I have to break you to get the seeds. So now I have a shit ton of seeds. <laughs> so you know, if I ever find the little base, the well, in which there it is. Uh, there's a oh. base that has the actual room. Can make it down here without a uh, dying from uh, fall damage. Huh? Get this, and then uh, be able to build a base somewhere. Also, like right away, give me the uh, blueprint for our, a large room. Apparently, oh, I got a lot of stuff. Vehicle upgrades. Uh, modifications. Right, Seamoth depth, depth one. Uh, we'll need that eventually. I'm gonna go deeper. Class stealing goods to make a large room. Okay. So the large room and stuff weren't uh, originally in uh, Subnautica. They were something introduced in uh, Below Zero, the sequel, and then uh, the devs made an uptake to this game to include that stuff in here. Which. They include the large room. I wonder if they also included a. Uh, in Below Zero, you could like find blueprints for a juke, like a jukebox, so you could have a in like CDs, so you could have like music playing in your uh, base. And uh, I wonder if they added that to this too, because uh, Below Zero had some uh, pretty banger uh, soundtracks, like songs made specifically like for the game. So I can't. Get yeah, you better run. I 
can't remember. Is there like a way? Maybe there's a way inside huh? here. Is this broken? It is. Huh? Head to cramps again? Not quite. I mean, they do jump at you the same, <laughs> but they don't like try to latch onto your head. It's still annoying though. I gotta drop something, or I guess I'll just use the yeah. med kit. Can you stop? God, I guess you're the worst. I want this very obvious, like, alien artifact. <laughs> Integrating new PDA data. Ah. Oh, I saw the audio like broken. Thank you for that. Jeez. I'm gonna keep complaining about it, I'm sorry. New blueprint acquired. But it's just like so weird that like sometimes it's like normal volume when I pick up PDAs and other times it's like super loud. Ooh, log four. Curious discovery. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. Uh, uh, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. <laughs> One thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying here. There you go. Huh? Huh? that. Uh, is there anything like up huh? here? Oh. Huh? No! Huh? Huh? It's like making me jump backwards. Huh? Over in this part. There it is. Integrating new PDA data. Ooh. Integrating new PDA data. There's a battery in there, but I don't like uh really need it. Huh? Huh? So what new info do I have? Log one. Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Mida. The cut price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had made a salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Mida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. Uh, I imagine she's not going to weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. Oh. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. <laughs> this planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months. 
Could have been years. I'm sorry. Years? Could you manage being stuck in, like, the middle of nowhere, pretty much, of the galaxy, on an alien planet that you don't know much about for, like, years? <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. All because of the insurance, too. Your insurance company sucks. So, <laughs> so you're stuck here for years. God. That'd be horrible. And then... Okay. Yeah, this Sir, one. I said wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stopped being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief. What? Do you know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, what's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're going to be so hungry you start wondering what he tastes like, let him go deal with the plants. Sir, go deal with the plants. Bart, Torgal has disembarked the habitat. Interfere with my family again, and when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand me? No rescue coming, yeah. Chief. Not in time. And no staying here, neither. This rain keeps falling, sooner or later this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. <laughs> yeah. The average Trevor's says have good insurance and, like, something to do, I guess. <laughs> when that, uh, maybe doesn't work out. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, could you imagine, like, space travel, like, having the same issues, like, car insurance and stuff, like, has? <laughs> like... God, that'd be horrible. Okay, so I've scanned all the grow beds. I've got some seeds. Yada yada yada. Um, I actually have I have the habitat builder on me. Just don't know if I fully have enough stuff to uh, make a room to check. <laughs> yeah, your rest of the is controlled by an HMO. Yeah. God, that would suck. Oh, so room only takes six titanium, and then, um, but I need a way to get in, so a hatch. I need quartz. Okay. Right. So I'm keeping that in mind. Quartz isn't too hard to find, so then I'm just gonna figure out where I wanna build base at. Now we could do like a little like half and half kind of thing, um, because this island, you know, has a lot of plants, like food sources and stuff. It's kind of out in the open. I could build uh, part of my base on land, leading out, you know, into the water, basically. So that way, you know, I have like the moon pool or whatever, and. Uh, to dock the Seamoth and all that. Or we could just, you know, build it like fully underwater somewhere. I don't know. Mainly depends on like how scenic we want our like base to be, <laughs> right? I mean, the island looks pretty nice, but is it like as nice as like some of the underwater stuff? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go over here because this is, you know, right here, the 
This island was supposed to be the rendezvous point for any survivors, and uh, as you can see, there's no one here. Kind of on their own. Integrating new PDA data. All right, what's it say? <laughs> Missed the memo, right? Rendezvous voice log. We have to board the Aurora. Repair the long-range comms. Make contact with the other survivors. We can't be the only two that made it. Those are not the orders the captain gave me, and they are not the orders I'm giving you. This isn't chain of command. It's survival. My obligations as acting commander don't turn on their convenience. Get out of the water. If I get into trouble, I'll send you my coordinates. I can't let you go alone. Then come with me. You don't leave me much choice. Received emergency transmission from second officer Keen. Two hours after last activity. Oh. Your neighbor was a failure. Intercepted a transmission from Altera HQ. Seems they sent a data package to the Aurora. We were intercepted by a Leviathan class predator before we could reach the ship. Oh. Consider the CTO and I lost at sea. Be safe. Keen. Out. So <laughs> they made it to the rendezvous point, but then uh, going to try to send a distress signal got uh probably eaten. Yeah, hmm. Well, that's, that's a bummer. as much damage as I thought I would. So that's good. So, get that. What are our markers looking like? We got this signal. And we just got this one. Which it's labeled as the rendezvous point, but I'm gonna like make a more specific uh, beacon for this. Do the nope, nope, put that back. I'm gonna label this as a uh, island. Nicer underwater spot. Maybe. So we have Black Cloud right here. Alright, there's not much life out in this area. There's still some uh, biomes we haven't uh, visited yet, come across. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it very much feels like that. <laughs> this other thing too, it's like a... Uh, it feels nice like traveling in this game. 
like writing in the little like subs and stuff. I actually like the like little noises it makes. <laughs> Some wrecks, wreckage over here. Uh, just gonna look around these uh, for a bit. I need to like try to find bits of the uh, laser cutter if I can. Hold up, I'm like exploring for a while until the uh, I've been to our space. I mean, I have enough titanium and stuff to, and I just got quartz, so I should be able to build like a room for the base. I'm just gonna find a spot. I'm gonna feather that. So, try to search out more of the biomes, which. No, hit my. All my notes. Let me look. We could go uh, check out maybe the Grand Reef area. So the depth, the depth of that is like 180 to 450. It's to the south slash southwest. It's kind of this way. Turned off this one. Oop, there we go. What are you barking at? Sorry, I'm, I don't know if you guys can hear or not. Uh, my dog. <laughs> Except like the blinds and the window in the office open, uh she'll like start barking randomly, even though there's like nothing outside. <laughs> she hear something? Yeah, maybe. It's like, I don't know, something like major going on in my uh, neighborhood. It's like, there's no reason to bark. <laughs> and it's like, if it's like an animal and stuff, like she doesn't even bark at those. Like, cause we've had uh, bunnies in the yard before. Or not bunnies, but like rabbits. Um, and she just like, she doesn't bark at those, she just like sits and like stares out the window at them. <laughs> God, I hate it when it's like nighttime in this game because it's so hard to see. Because, uh. <laughs> like the field of, uh. You, my vision. This is like, man. What if a Leviathan decides to just, like, you know, like, pop out the ground right now? 
I would never know. Actually have. I don't have any water on me. Well, I'll have to go back. Actually, I think. No, we're fine right here. So there won't be a Leviathan, or at least the Reaper ones over here. Uh, this over here. I don't know why I'm trying to use the sea glider. I'm on a battery. This is a. Uh, they call it reefs, but it's not really what I think about when I think of reefs. Uh, but this is the grand reef area of the game. With these weird, like, ball things. <laughs> Whatever these are supposed to be. So I'll, I'll put a beacon down for this. So I remember it's uh, right over here. Excuse me, sir. Don't be rude. Don't do it. I don't know what you're doing, but don't. Don't. <laughs> Bioluminescent coral? I... Maybe? I just like how they're like... Perfect spheres, basically. Anchor pods, apparently what they're called. Okay, I gotta hopefully make my way back to the sea moth before I run out of oxygen. 30 seconds. I went a little too far. Cutting in a little close. <laughs> uh, but uh, I'll come back to the explore this area in a bit. Need uh, food and uh, water. So I'm gonna go back to the life pod. Seek fluid intake immediately. I mean, so far, like, the most visually interesting places I've seen for, like, a base are, uh... Besides on the island, the, uh, the jelly shroom caves. With the, like, glowing mushrooms. It's so, like, the Grand Reef with, like, the anchor pods and stuff are cool, but, uh, it's, like, so sparse. has like some like important entrances to like the like the large caves the uh, places like the Lost River area that I mentioned earlier and stuff like that so I might actually end up like building my base around there that after I prevent myself from dying from lack of uh, water and food. So I grab one of you for now to turn into water and then 
Vital signs stabilizing. Can we get a message? This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Uh... Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Uh, the gaming killer. Hi, right, thank you for the follow. Uh, I'm doing good. Just playing the chill little survival game, you know. How's your day going? Uh, oh. Actually, I can use that mic. Yeah, I'm kind of a little injured. There we go. Making new cosplays. Oh, nice. Uh, alright. So I got enough titanium. Actually, I want to look at blueprints. It's six for a base. How many for grow beds? So I can just like start making food right away. Four. So I want like 10 on me when I set out to build my base somewhere. Uh, any of you have like free storage space? You do not, unfortunately. Seek looks like. Alright, well I guess making a little chest real quick. Uh, store some things I don't need right away. And I'm gonna have like so many of these floating around until I find somewhere to build. Um, uh, alright. Don't need these for the moment. Um, what else do I need, actually? So, grow bed titanium, the actual base building. And then something for power. So I can make a uh, solar panels. Or I could go straight for a bioreactor. How well the solar panels work uh, depends on uh, how far down we build our base, obviously. So if I end up building in the Grand Reef area that uh, is like pretty far down, well it can go pretty far down anyway, uh, solar panels may not be what I want. I might have to go like straight for the bioreactor, which means I need to get three titanium, so I need 13 on me when I go build my base. Wiring kit and lubricant.
fluid intake immediately. Vital signs stabilizing. Alrighty, that should hold me over for like at least a little bit. have lubricant. I need right two silver and then I can make a wiring kit which I'll also need. Then I do have some copper so I could make a I do have to make another battery uh, to put in the sea glide. Which, how much is that? One copper, two mushrooms. Okay. Right, let's put you out. Frog. <laughs> I hit the D key instead of F. Whoops. Oh well. Fix it uh, later. I don't think I could change it in here. <laughs> I can't. Oh, it's just, you know, incorrect for now. <laughs> So I need three more titanium. Which I'll grab on my way back. Silver is more important to grab right now. an entrance uh, to a cave over here. I wonder how much uh, of this one I can explore. This other one went down more than uh, 200, so I couldn't really look. Or, you know, it's not like an actual cave. <laughs> it's just like a hole in the ground. Okay. Let's go that way. There we go. 
No, let's see, moth's pretty damaged. Let's probably fix it. Or, uh, ends up getting destroyed or something. I want to make a where is it? Bioreactor, more or less. I just need to get some more titanium so I can build like the actual base room and then also uh, a grow bed. like three more um, hmm. I don't use the flashlight all that often so maybe store that Scrap metal will be good. Automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates attached. Live Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kassar. I said Kassar. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Uh. Location uploaded to PDA. What? Priority passenger remains. Oh, so he like immediately the game's like, yeah, he didn't make it. Uh, okay. Hmm. Where is he at? 175 meters. In that direction. Of a burial and see what do right yeah because uh yeah you don't really have a uh, means to uh <laughs> ship his remains anywhere you know <laughs> i don't think the people coming to rescue me uh would appreciate me bringing aboard a dead body more or less It's at a depth that I can like reach. I just uh, 
And I want to eat some food before I go over there. So maybe I'll like store some like plants, plant seeds, and uh, for until my base is like actually built. There we go. Not really an abundance of dry land either. Yeah, there's like two islands. <laughs> In this, like, in this whole game that you can visit. So, I mean, if they're fine with, like, that, then, you know, we can put them on the nice tropical one, you know? <laughs> oh, right, I was gonna grab, grab some food real quick. Then go over there. So, grab some fish. And then... Probably get some water through like the bleach uh, method rather than the fish. Which, what was it for bleach? Uh, where is it? All the way up here? Jeez. Coral tube and salt. There's a entrance to the jelly caves, like right here, too. It's actually pretty close to like my base. Never uh, should mark this. Intake recommended. Alright, yep, got some salts. Probably grab one more fish. Where's my inventory full? Uh, I'll just make do with what I have then. <laughs> it's 
So like immediately I saw something to craft and I was like, ooh, yeah, make it. And then I forgot. I don't want glass. I wanted the quartz to stay the way it is. Uh, it's fine, I'll just like gather more. It's uh, pretty abundant and easy to find. Vital signs stabilizing. Uh, I'll take my kit just in case, you know, I get hit by something. Put you in there. Fried quartz. <laughs> yeah. Just let it, you know. Technically. Welcome aboard, Captain. My glasses? I don't know. Fried or pressured, right? any more beacons so if it's like a new biome over there uh, where the life bot is then I'll probably want to have something for it. Plunk seeds and started with Valley who are implied to eat quartz. <laughs> oh yeah. Right. thing of titanium. There we go. <laughs> I gave Abigail go quartz and she said, how'd you know I was hungry? <laughs> wow. Yeah, I, I'd be surprised too. <laughs> I just thought about like 
on our way to this life mod. Um, what what were we supposed to do, or what did they expect people to do if like his remains aren't inside? You know, because uh, a lot of the life pods we've found so far have been like ripped open more or less. Like they have giant holes in them, and like there's no bodies. So. Yeah, so it's like, you want me to, like, get this prior- like, this priority passenger's remains, but it's like, what do you do if there are no remains, right? Do we just, like, pretend? Oh, this! Uh, yeah, the- So these are, like, actual- this is, like, actual, um... When they said reefs, like that other area being called the Grand Reef, this is what like I actually thought of. But these are uh, called something else. What is this area? It's called the Mushroom Forest. <laughs> so I think, uh, real quick, if I get out and scan these. The biomass in this area is dominated by plant life. Picking up faint, all terra vehicle, signatures. Yeah, they're called tree mushrooms. Which, I don't think they're, they're actual mushrooms. That'd be a little weird. What are you actually? Close up the, like, logs. Um... Oh, are they under exploitable? Oh, they're coral. So they are actual coral. Now these large organic structures reveals a mi microcosm of cooperating, cohabiting, and competing life forms. Main trunk is a species of coral, some colonies up to 50,000 years old. Wow. Uh, caps which line it share more in common with the earth fungi. Other organisms grow on the structure wherever there is space and light. Surrounding waters are dense with herbivorous life forms in the 1 millimeter to 10 millimeter range, to the extent that large, larger herbivores appear to have mostly abandoned the area. Oh, cool. So, alright, get up. Definitely drop a beacon out here. So I think uh, either the Grand Reef or uh, Mushroom Forest would probably be a cool place to go base. The rain turned into a snowstorm. Oh. Dude, that sucks. Yeah, I can hear the wind, yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't get uh, too crazy, too bad. with normal March weather and then rain. Uh, yeah. Yeah.
integrating new PDA data. Check outside, see if there's anything nearby. Some lithium, nice. Okay, it's... Oh, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna scan you. You guys. The jelly rays, yeah. No, come back! My data entries! <laughs> there we go. Oh, there's like a giant one uh, right there. A giant mushroom tree. Maybe we should build our base at the, <laughs> you know, at the foot of the giant mushroom tree. <laughs> That'd probably be pretty neat. I mean, there's a lot of like fish looking swimming around, the jelly rays. It looks cool. Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh, okay. Let's see. The new data entry I got from the life pod. Oh, priority passenger. Right, because he's an emissary, so uh, that makes sense. Atmosphere. My creators, the cherishers and sustainers of worlds, give me this day my daily pleasures as I give to those who seek pleasures from me. External temperature approaching critical levels. Oh no. Show me the path in life, truth, and love for mine is the power. I am the one. On and off and on again. Impact imminent. The universe plays with itself. I am done playing as this bundle of flesh. Return me. Uh, yeah, so I guess he kind of was just like killed on impact, uh, more or less. Like his life pod kind of failed. Well, F's in chat <laughs> for uh, the emissary. <laughs> uh, the question is, is like, are we gonna find a note to say like, he's the emissary of what? Like, what he was doing on our ship? Cause the Aurora, like the one dude talked about how we like had stuff for like, what, a warp gate? So, like, similar to those things in what, Mass Effect? That help for our space travel? Sounds like a unitologist, anyway. I mean, I don't know. Unitologists would have been, like, preaching about turning uh, a bunch of other people with them in death or something. What are you saying kind of sounded like a mix of, like, religions. And they, they talked about, uh, the Mongolian states or whatever, right? How they're, like, a mix of religions. So maybe he's from, uh, an emissary from there. Habitat Builder. Then slot 5. Can I build on top of the giant mushroom tree? There's like this, you know, empty spot up here. It's like close to the surface, so like, we can get power from like solar panels. And then if we build outward, like down and stuff, uh, we have room for like the moon pool, so like docking. For the seam along. Hmm, let me see. King's Khan allowed multiple religions in his empire? Oh. Oh, 
Oh, right, you can build, like, foundations for the base, too. Can I, like, put that down after the fact, though? Yeah, I cannot. Let's see. <laughs> it's so, like, zoomed in. <laughs> uh, hold on. Options. Is there, like, a field of view kind of thing? There it is. Let's put it like at 65. This is like nighttime, which makes it even harder to like figure out what I'm doing. Oh, I'm allowed to worship whatever they want is if they pay tribute. Uh, always a workaround. <laughs> no. 30 seconds. So I can build on top of mushroom tree. It's just a little janky trying to figure out where exactly to put it. It's like the reefs over there, the grass plateaus, which there are actually multiple of that biome. Jelly caves. I think the islands also aren't like super far away from this. Uh, well, I guess place this and then like see how it looks. to move it over like this way a little bit. I kind of want to be like in the middle of the top of the tree. <laughs> the first part of the base. There we go. So we got that. We'll put a... It may be prudent to separate work and leisure spaces to maximize productivity. Treat this space as your home, but never forget that it is not. Right, yeah. Warning, emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Right, 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 yeah. Uh, where is... Seamoth? Okay, I'm gonna move that, uh, closer to the base. There's not gonna be, like, oxygen until I, uh... Uh, slap a power source on the base or in it. <laughs> take where did I put the beacon for mushroom forest I might move that over by the base so it's kind of a two for one thing lets me know where base is and then also uh, where the mushroom forest is Which, right, it's nighttime, so there we go. Power restored. All primary systems online. So we got our first little room for our base. Um, Like right away, I'm gonna put down probably like a grow bed. Uh, somewhere. Which might get moved in the future as like I built more rooms, but for now, it'd be nice to just have something, uh, 
making food. So, plant lantern fruit for now. So we'll have another tree growing. Chinese potato and then some marble melons. Okay, and then what do I need? So if I want to make a fabricator uh, for stuff in the base, so I can craft here instead of having to go to the light pod. I should probably just like mark all of these on the map. Or uh, pin the things. So we want fabricator radio, because of the messages. Uh, lockers for storage. And then that should be good. And then of course, uh, probably more titanium for more uh, rooms. Then, I don't know, maybe some glass to make fancy hallways. <laughs> yeah, there we go. It's got quite a few things to do. Best option for now will probably be to uh, go back to the life pod and like gather all the stuff I have in chests and uh, start bringing it back here. Especially like the stuff to make the fabricator. base. I'm gonna make it red. It's important. <laughs> and for now, for you guys, uh, probably turn you off. Hide you. Vital signs stabilizing. sandwich, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have quite a few beacons, cause uh, like I said, there's like quite a, quite a lot of different like biomes actually. Um, I haven't actually like counted the number, but it's like, it's more than 10. And then like certain biomes show up in like multiple spots. Like the, the grassy plateaus, for example, you can find like multiple uh, of that biome in like different parts of the map. So I might end up like marking like multiple of those. Now hopefully the game uh, <laughs> doesn't freak out about it. I mean, I don't think putting, like, beacons everywhere would be, like, that taxing that, uh, frames start to drop or something like that. Aurora, we're 
approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's... Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. Should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. And don't leave us waiting. Oh. Sunbeam out. Uh, apparently the sunbeam will be here in like 39 minutes. <laughs> hey, <laughs> we might get rescued. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, okay. What was I doing? Oh, collecting all my stuff that's stored in here. Right. Which I don't want to get too crazy with like grabbing everything. So uh, I need room for titanium for building. So it's definitely going to be like multiple trips from here to uh, where the base is. Their priority course? Well, it wasn't. Yeah, it's not Sunbeam's priority corpse. It was a uh, whoever owns the Aurora, which is what Altera. But yeah, they might be a little mad that we don't bring that back with us if we get rescued. Uh, I mean, they already said they're gonna charge us for trying to survive. You know, like I picked up that diamond, and they're like, "Yeah, you owe like three million credits now." <laughs> like. What? <laughs> I think I'd rather stay on the alien planet <laughs> at that point. Like, geez. Put me in debt for trying to live. So I need... It's like the sunbeam notes like above like one of my pin things. What did I need for the fabricator? <laughs> I can't read it now. Yeah, you survived? How dare. <laughs> it's like, I guess I should have went down with the ship like the captain did. <laughs> uh, fabricator. Table coral sample and titanium. Okay, that's the thing I was missing. Which, getting table coral should be easy enough. So I'll just, uh... Save all my room for like titanium then. Go out and get a bunch of scrap metal, basically. Well, like stalkers so like nearby there's also at least a few piles of like scrap metal because I collect it and like you know chew on it or whatever here we go yeah <laughs> ow ow I know I'm sorry I'm taking your scrap <laughs> please don't be mad Any sites like way out there too. I wonder if I uh, should probably grab some like extra quartz too, so I can build more than a uh, one locker at the base. Well, 
I need quartz uh, and I'm make glass too. Uh, no, I actually no, I have some. Just need one more thing to glass. So yeah, a couple more quartz. Um, what did the what was it called? Foundation for a base. Two titanium, two lead. Okay. I'll store. Yeah, I'll store one lead away. I'll have four so I can build like uh, two base foundations, basically. Then I'm actually gonna store this mud kit, save up some more space. So, try to go get like three things of quartz. Turn two of them into glass. And then, uh, I guess save the others for, I don't know, uh, maybe making another solar panel or something. Kid when I get back. <laughs> Are none of you like empty? I don't think so. until some beam arrives. Uh, I'll just say, let you guys know now that uh, we may or may not see the sunbeam arriving uh, this stream. It's like I have plans to go out to eat at like around six and it's like five. So I might have to hold off uh, going to the landing site <laughs> until next week. And it's like a good, you know, and and stream on a little suspense, little uh, something to look forward to next week. Uh, okay, so I'm doing pretty good on stuff. I just need to get more quartz. Store all these uh, creature eggs. I don't know why I'm collecting them all. Uh, <laughs> I guess like back into the old habit of this game of like wanting everything. Pretty eventful day. Yeah, I really guess, you know. Introduce my little VTuber model. We've explored a lot, even though we haven't done quite that much in the game, but uh, it's not the beginning of stuff like this usually is. It's a lot of uh, setting up to do the uh, more fun and uh, crazy survival things. Okay, I have four slots, so try to get four quarts. Super cute? Oh, well, thanks. Yeah, I tried, you know, when I made it to be like me, but anime. <laughs> So like, uh, tried my best to get like the hair color and like the eye color stuff to match, and then uh, 
glasses because, you know, I wear glasses myself. <laughs> I think it turned out pretty nice. I would have went with, like, a longer hair, but, uh, one of the, like, sets of, like, wavy, like, curly hair that was long that I found, um, like, had, like, really bad clipping issues with, like, the clothes, like, even with, like, the sweater that my model has on, so, and it was bugging me, and I was, like, having trouble, like, getting it to, like, fix and work. And like, even though this hair like sometimes clips through my face, it's like, not as bad. <laughs> and it's still, you know, close to like, what my hair kind of looks like when I cut it. Which is still that like, wavy, kind of crazy look. But you know, when it gets to summertime here, uh, definitely will be cutting my hair short again. Because having long hair when it's like 90 degrees outside is just a nightmare. Oh, you might cut yours as well when it gets too hot, yeah. It's just like, I wouldn't have a problem keeping it long if like, uh, even when it's tied back, like, for whatever reason, it's like, when it's hot out, it feels like the back of my neck is like, sweating, like a lot. <laughs> and I just hate that feeling. So I like, always end up, because of that, like, cutting it short in the summer. Yeah, yeah, it does take time to grow back. Yeah, especially for like, yeah, you guys, it takes even longer. Nice, okay, good. Glad I found that like, little cave. Plenty of quartz. So it should be good to build like some of the base necessities right off the bat. And then it's gonna be like a couple of treks back and forth uh, to get all the things that I have stored away in these chests and stuff. Welcome aboard, Captain. I'll have to uh, once I get all the lists established, uh Look into what's needed for the moon pool, so I can uh, dock the sea moth and uh, have it recharge when I'm not using it. When I'm like inside the base. How dinner is good? Yeah, I'm not going anywhere fancy. <laughs> uh, me and uh, Logan and uh, a couple of his work friends are just going to uh, Culver's. So you know, like decent fast food, I guess. Also, like, a little reminder of home, because, like, Culver's is, a, like, a Wisconsin, uh, company. Recommended. You know, I hope some of the plants are growing. They don't have them there, they don't, really? Wow, that's surprising. It's just like, I was surprised when I moved here that there was even like one in Arizona. And like, the one here is like, the culvers here is really recent. It was like a year before I moved, they had like built it or something like that. <laughs> and I think it's like the only one, uh, 
Well, it's not the only, probably not the only one in Arizona, but it was like it's surprising that it ended up in like my city where I live because we're kind of like a small town, almost. <laughs> like we don't have like a large population like Phoenix or like Tucson or anything has. Not that I've ever seen it. Yet. Culver's is like, it's fast food, but at the same time, it feels like restaurant uh, fast food, if that makes sense. Well, like, the quality the of, like, no matter, like, what Culver's I've been to, in, like, different states and stuff, the quality of the food's always usually pretty good, and, uh, it's always, like, pretty quick to get to when they're, like, not busy. Seek fluid intake. just like a decent like you know burger joint basically because uh like their butter burgers they're like cheeseburgers or whatever and like their specialty and then uh the frozen custard so they're like their ice cream stuff something <laughs> anger coming yeah All right, so I guess my plants are like fully grown. It's just my inventory is full. <laughs> Real quick, uh, I'll actually go back outside. Build this. I guess uh, have our base expand this way a little bit first. been my problem with like the platforms you can build to like make your base more stable like increases integrity it's like they never center on like the rooms <laughs> like you see this so it's like I have to build two of them to like make it not look awkward <laughs> So, I want to eat, like, two of you, and then the other one I want to turn back into seeds. So, like, I always have marble melons, basically. Vital signs. They're pretty good on food. And water. 12 food, 14 H2O. potatoes like uh, for plant. There we go. And then lantern trees like produce fruit pretty regularly. Can you figure what I'm doing for dinner too? Uh, yeah. Yeah, but if the like they hadn't brought up like going out to eat uh, today. Uh, I would have been making something probably, or that, or like probably eating leftovers. <laughs> I still have like some leftover uh, soup in the fridge. Okay, uh, fabricator. Here would be a good spot for you. There we go. Burgers do sound good. I mean, you can always like order out or something, or go get something. So like yesterday, uh, we ordered out too. Um, from I think it's like a local like bar and grill place, but uh, I got their uh, like fish dinner thing. Their uh. Uh, fried fish, which was pretty good. 
then they had potato wedges, which, like, I always love it when, like, I can find a place that, like, has potato wedges. Because <laughs> there's, like, so few, like, uh, restaurants around here seem to, like, do that, like, instead of fries, you know? Or, like, along with fries. I'm like, potato wedges are so good. <laughs> We call JoJo's here, huh? Okay, so there we got radio. We got that. Um, right. Where am I gonna put storage? So we can build the base out that way. If I move the planner, we can go that way as well. And we can also go back this way. So, I mean, locker is probably at like these like side rooms is like the best bet. So, corners. Trying to get it in like a similar spot as like the other one. Good enough. And then I have enough titanium left to, if I really wanted to, build like another room. I think I'm gonna check. Can I build a solar panel? I can. Have another one of these. Have more power to the base. Oh, and then I still have lead and uh, titanium, so I guess, yeah, make another foundation. There we go. So power is now at 150. It's pretty good. Now let's see. Uh, unpin these for now. What would I need for a moon pool? Two tiny mangots, lubricant, and lead. Yeah, that's pretty doable. Oh, we can also make a medical uh, kit, med kit fabricator too. Nice. Probably hold off on that for now though. Uh, okay. So I'll probably put, like, you know, these, uh, what would you call them? Minerals, metals and stuff? Both of them in, like, the same one, and then the uh, fabricated stuff over here. Yeah. Still need, a. Uh, should probably, I guess, collect a lot of stuff to make bleach, because, uh... Well, this food does give me some water. It doesn't give me, like, enough at the moment. So 
I either need a, like a ton of bleach so I can make a ton of like water bottles or uh, there is a uh, like water filtration uh, system that you can find the parts of the fragments and then uh, build. It turns the seawater into drinkable water and then uh, salt. Welcome aboard, Captain. We <laughs> you know what's why it's a thing. Oh, why potato wedges and cold JoJo's? Yeah. I feel like every, you know, state probably has like some weird little like food thing like that though, right? Or like, even just like normal stuff. Like, there's something in every state that is called like some weird ass name. <laughs> Checking out the window every once in a while and to see uh, uh Logan's gonna be home soon or not, because it's uh it's almost 5 30. We're supposed to all like meet up at six. There's a chance he got like a help up at work though. We might end up having a be light. <laughs> I finally understood that Montanans are terrible at naming stuff. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, in that case, maybe that's why. It's like, yeah, weird names for things, and then, like, what is it? The different names for, like, uh, everything? Like, I think of, like, soda, right? And, like, there's always, like, you know, do you, like, call it soda or, or like, pop? It's like, I don't know, soda sounds better to me. <laughs> and then, you, you know, you got people who call, like, old types of soda cola. Even though cola is, like, a spe like, specific thing, right? Like one of the other food, like like I can think of that. I feel like I've heard like weird names for, it, but I can't remember. Like, uh, like the novelty snack food stuff, or I think of um, I feel like I've heard like some really weird names for like fried pickles from places. You say soda, but a lot of people around here don't. Yeah. It's like different, uh, depending on where you go in Wisconsin, it's either soda or pop. And then also, like, depending on where you go, it's like how Canadian your, uh, <laughs> your accent starts to, like, sound, right? Like saying bag instead of bag. <laughs> Stuff like that. I, I guess I kind of lucked out where I didn't like pick any of that up because like my sister does she has like a semi-canadian like accent to some of the things she says it varies yeah I'm increasingly Canadian as I get drunk. Nice. Wow. <laughs> oh, more tree, uh, tree seeds. I'm just gonna take these with me right away. I guess I should grab everything in the containers and then... Can I pick up the container itself? I can. Oh, I don't know. Should I take these with me or just kind of like leave them here? We'll be having like a, you know, actual 
lockers and stuff for storage. I don't think I really need these. All oh, right, all my <laughs> stalker teeth. Cause the one dropped. The rest of these are like creature eggs. So I think I got all of the like actual useful bits for now. Uh oh, there is one thing I can have to grab though. The mobile vehicle bay. Because outside of making the sea moth, it's also used to uh, make the cyclops, which is the larger sub. Definitely want that. And then we are eight minutes away from the sunbeam being here. So I guess I'll quick go drop the stuff off the base and then uh, we'll go over to the rendezvous point. I guess we'll be able to see it after all. <laughs> Don't have to wait until next stream. Seek fluid intake immediately. from the uh, life raft, or whatever you want to call it, escape pod. Can't drink sea water because it's too tasty, yeah. You know, who doesn't like salt, right? That's why potato chips are so good. <laughs> Bladder fish or whatever, turn them into water to you. <laughs> Salt and vinegar, yeah. Just 
Red Lake. Three of you. There we go. There we go. And then I want this with me. Maybe these, just in case something happens. Uh, alright. Hopefully, you know, we we'll make it to the island in time. We should be good. Three minutes? Yeah, we should be fine. You know, going to ignore that <laughs> for now. Yeah, let's uh, let's wait to do whatever that is. No, oh, just get a new uh, radio message too. So I've heard that there's a, you know, Leviathan nearby. Detected Apparently. massive energy signature in the region. Cannot identify it. Right. Huh. So they want me to wait over here. Dude, that's like a definitely... I mean, if the tablet, the glowing tablet we didn't find wasn't enough, uh, that is definitely, like, an alien building. <laughs> Crafting squid people? Uh, who knows? So yeah, he's obviously you know played this game before and knew I had time to grab that uh, purple tablet we got on the other island. So we needed to go in there eventually. Atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. Are you? Yes. Ow! Is that fuck. Building down there? Yeah, here. What do you mean you're carrying crabs? Hold on. No 
turning back now. Positions, everyone. Touching down in 10, 9, 8. Uh. It's coming from the building? Change course. Set thrusters uh. before. Rescued. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. F. <laughs> Lots of S's in chat. <laughs> there were probably multiple people on that ship, you know? <laughs> also, yeah, you, you can kind of see now how we also probably kind of crashed here, the Aurora. We were probably also shot down by the large alien uh, laser cannon. <laughs> Turn so hard to get at me. You're a fish. Stay in the ocean. I'm in like trouble trying to scan it. Well, yep. I guess we're stuck here, you know, until we can do something about that. Because, uh, no way a ship can come rescue us or we can, uh, you know, make like a ship of our own to leave and tell you. Don't have to worry about getting shot out of the sky. <laughs> yeah. We'll be here a while. Which is why we're gonna, you know, build a nice comfy base. <laughs> home away from home. Right? Right? <laughs> okay. Jokes aside. Uh, that'll be it for stream for today. Uh, next week when I stream, we'll go inside the base that has the giant space cannon. <laughs> Get to check out uh, what that's all about. Uh, Eva Gaming, thanks for following. Caught me kind of at the end of the stream, but uh, thank you so much. <laughs> so yeah, next week uh, I don't know if I'll stream on Monday. Mondays are kind of my, like, maybe, maybe not day. I know on my schedule it says, uh, no streams, but there may be, maybe not, depending on how busy I get. But, uh, definitely Tuesday for sure. We'll be back with, uh, more Symbatica. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out on stream. I always appreciate it. Uh, thank you to all the new followers, too. Uh, hope you end up liking my content. Uh, if you guys ever want to check out past streams that I've done of, like, this game, like, if you miss anything or, uh, any prior games I've played, I have a YouTube channel that I, uh, post all the VODs to, along with, uh, any clips that get made of streams and, uh, Sometimes some, like, YouTube short stuff. But, yeah, again, thank you guys so much, and I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. <laughs>